This is a set of tutorials on uh, writing cell diagrams and uh, we're going to cover first of all representing the electrochemical cell and some examples uh, and conclusions. That will be this first tutorial. Then we'll go on to some more heart, complicated half equations written as half cells and then uh, finally working out the cell diagram for which E cell is positive. So in this one here we're going to look at some uh, uh, nickel copper there, iron with vanadium, copper with hydrogen, hydrogen with chlorine examples and then to come to conclusions on how we represent the salt bridge, change of state, use of platinum, uh, order in which we put things, how this relates to standard electrode potentials and what we do with regard to balancing atoms and electrons. So first example here, I've got an electrochemical cell with uh, nickel electrode and nickel ions and on the other side copper and copper ions. We want to represent this in a shorthand so that we don't need to draw this out the whole time. And uh, so uh, in the place of the nickel we write Ni, we write a line there meaning that it's a phase change from the solid nickel to the aqueous um, nickel ions, Ni2+. plus. Then to represent the salt bridge we have that double line and then sort of the same on the other side. So there's the copper ions and there uh, is the phase change to the solid copper electrode. So the order in which we've done things here is we put the metals on the outside and then put the metal ions in the middle. In this example we've got iron with iron ions which is sort of similar before so we can represent that the same way but over on the other side we've got vanadium 2 plus and vanadium 3 plus ions. So neither of those is actually a solid metal and we'll need to use a platinum electrode there for a site for the redox reactions to take place. So we can put that platinum electrode on the outside okay but then there's a question of which way round we would put the vanadium and the vanadium 2 plus here. And uh, if we think of that previous example we went from metal to metal ions. In terms of redox that's reduction then oxidation a reduced species or oxidized species. Uh, a metal has got the electrons whereas the metal ions has lost the electrons. And over the, on the other side we did the ion and then the metal. So this pattern of red ox ox red we can apply and we would say that we'd write the oxidized species first here on the right hand side and then the uh, reduced species. The comma there means that these two things are in the same phase. They're both aqueous. This example, copper on copper ions, that's exactly the same, reduced then oxidized. On the other side we've got the uh, hydrogen cell, so uh, we've got H plus and H2. A few things to note here. Uh, first of all, uh, the voltage of this is negative. We're not worried about that. We're not necessarily saying that we're only going to write a half, uh, we're, we're only going to write a cell diagram if the EMF is positive. That's absolutely fine. Uh, it's a negative EMF there. Uh, other thing is in here I've represented H plus and H2 but it's not balanced stoichiometrically. Whereas in the uh, cell diagram you would tend to put it balanced stoichiometrically. So we've got uh, two H plus there. Uh, in terms of states of matter on the right hand side here we can imagine that the H plus is definitely AQ the H2 gas is bubbling into the solution, so we'll regard them both in the same phase, both being in solution. Put a comma there, and then the line for the platinum catalyst. In terms of the order here, H plus is oxidized relative to uh, H2. And a final example here, where we've got uh, hydrogen and then the chlorine half cell, and we can use this one as an example for some uh, conclusions. Uh, here we've got the platinum uh, there, then we've got the reduced species H2, oxidized species H+, oxidized species Cl2, then reduced species Cl-. In terms of phase, the we're going to say the H2 gas and the H+, are in the same phase, the Cl2 and the Cl- are both in the solution as well, platinum electrodes on either side. Uh, in terms of uh, a standard electrode potential, this is a standard electrode potential, because we've got the hydrogen half cell on the left hand side and we're measuring the voltage of the chlorine on the right. This would be the standard electrode potential for chlorine going to chloride ions. And uh, so this is how you represent it. So uh, this, this uh, right hand side here is sometimes written as a shorthand for standard electrode potential. In terms of balancing atoms and electrons, you do uh, tend to balance atoms within 
are a half cell, so we've got two hydrogens in both of those there and one chlorine in each of those representations there. In terms of electrons, we don't balance electrons on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, so that's a two-electron process on that side, on the left-hand side. It's a one-electron process on the right-hand side, but we don't worry about that.